It's that time again. Welcome to the best webinar in town. You've been real live. Let's introduce your host from the windy city of Chicago. Currently sheltering in place, please welcome HumanWare's brand ambassador of blindness products, Peter Dusen. And from all the way across the pond, also sheltering in place, but doing so with everyone's favorite accent, please welcome HumanWare's Braille product manager, Andrew Flatry. Andrew, what's happening? I'm cool, Peter. How you doing? I am just here. I am uh, making making things move, doing uh, lots of meetings. As have <laughs> I think we've been in meetings more than we've not been in meetings <laughs> together this morning. Actually, it's, it's uh, great. that's right. Meetings upon meetings. Welcome everybody to Humanware Live. It is Thursday. We are glad to be here. Um, we are going to be talking about some cloud-based storage today and really getting into the kind of the inner ins and outs of really looking at how we move files and folders around, uploading and downloading. So we're, we're going to be looking at that. Um, doing it first, I will be leading with Microsoft OneDrive and then I'm going to toss it all the way over to Andrew and he is going to show us uh, the same sorts of pieces with Dropbox. So. In doing that, we're hoping to give, again, you know, a lot of times people ask us about using their, not just Google Drive. Um, I know we, we focus a lot on Google, you know, we're Google certified, but we're also, we do work with other companies and we, we work with lots of cloud storage as does everybody out there. So maybe some of you are using um, OneDrive. I know I've had some requests at Humanware Live. So again, that was a request that came into Humanware Live at humanware.com about putting it on the on the agenda, putting it on the radar. So we're doing it now. I am Peter Tusick, brand ambassador of blindness products for Humanware. Andrew Flatris is the Braille product manager. So we're glad to be here. Another good old episode of Humanware Live. We do have a prize today, a little different, right, Andrew? Little, yeah, a uh, little bit, a little different. Um, little it's different. not a stream. No, it's not it a stream. is not a stream. <laughs> not a stream. Doesn't mean we won't have streams at some point in time. Not a stream. Uh, that went very well. We're so glad that we were able to give away five streams. But today, what we're going to be giving the winner of our um, of our prize is an hour with a product specialist. So I manage a team of product specialists. Some of you may know Joel Zimba or Rachel Feinberg. Um, Joel and Rachel know everything there is to know about humanware products. Um, I manage that team also, so it could be myself doing it. Basically what we'll do is we will set up an hour for you to have the undivided attention of a product specialist. They could help you with anything humanware related. So it could be setting up your Victor Reader stream uh, with NLS or doing something with, um, you know, specific to your Braille Note Touch Plus or maybe using your Braille display uh, with your iOS device, whatever it could be. Um, we're going to get that hour set up at a time and date that will work for you. Obviously, it needs to work for them as well. So I will be reaching out to whomever the winner is and we will organize that and, and get you set up with an hour of really just an hour of, of a, a resource, right? Having somebody to personally show you various things and that can encompass a lot. So excited to do a little bit of a different prize, but definitely a prize that has value. And if you are a TVI, this could be a great, you know, something if you just wanted to use it for yourself um, to ask questions, or of course, if you wanted your students to join um, as well, that could be an option also. So just another, another type of prize, but Without any further ado, I'm going to share my screen. And uh, Andrew, can you give me permissions to do so? Uh, yes, I can. Um, I, am, I am not allowed. You have blocked me out. <laughs> you, are, you are truly there you go. stealing control. <laughs> I feel so shut down. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna share our sound. And make sure that's good. Connect. Connect. Do you hear me, Andy? Yep. Yeah. Loud and clear. Okay. Each on demand. All right. So we're going to look at OneDrive. Now, OneDrive is an application that you do need to install from the Google Play Store. So you are on your Braille Note Touch Plus. You are going to come to the Play Store. You are going to search for Microsoft OneDrive. You will install it. 
once you launch it, you will you do need an account with Microsoft. So again, these services, Dropbox as well, you need to have an account. If you don't have one, you're going to need to sign up. Um, again, we're, we're not going to walk you through those steps. You need to do some problem solving and get your account in. And then once you have an account, you can log in. And we're going to look at this as though you were logged in because the login process is up to you um, in terms of what your credentials are. So once you have an account, once you have OneDrive, we're going to look at how we organize. We're going to start with OneDrive and look at how we organize it. And then we're going to look at moving files around, uploading, and downloading. All right. I am on the main menu. I'm going to press the letter A to move to all applications. And once I'm here, what I'm going to do all applications. Is, what I'm going to do is press enter to open this up. Main menu all apps. All right. Now I am going to press the letter O and we're going to move down to OneDrive because that is what it will show up as. Omeo. Omeo, that is if you ever want to run around Europe um, and take buses and trains and flights and Omeo is a scheduling tool for doing some of that, but I'm going to be opening up OneDrive. OneDrive. I'm going to press enter. Files pivot. Selected. OneDrive. Welcome, Peter. Get to know your OneDrive. All right. So this app, again, third-party app, um, I have made the dis this disclaimer many, many times, can change on a dime for better or for worse. So as of today this is how this app will function. Hopefully it will function this way for a long time to come, but what you are hearing uh, is at the time of recording, this is how the app functions. And we generally see a lot of stability in these sorts of apps, especially made by Microsoft or Google or, or you know, um, any of your major sort of companies, but sometimes things change, layouts change, terminology changes. Um, so be, be, just be aware of that. We've all had apps that have changed on us and have caused issues where we need to relearn how to do something or re, re kind of wander around and relearn. It's like moving the furniture sometimes, right? Uh, sometimes someone moves the furniture. I know my wife does this. My mom did this growing up. Furniture moves and I don't remember it right away, right? You got to get that muscle memory down. So it uh, keeps you on your toes um, and sometimes stubs your toes, right? So don't get too frustrated. Um, if an app changes on you, just Try your best to, to learn those changes. And if you need to, contact the developer and tell them what has changed. Tell them what is different. Um, let them know if there's an accessibility concern. So we're in the app. There are, in many apps, we have tabs, right? There are tabs in terms of which I've talked about when we looked at something like Google Drive, for instance, or uh, various apps that I've demoed. This app has something called pivots. A pivot in this app is a tab. Don't ask me why. I did not build it, I don't know why, but this app has pivots. Your files live in the files pivot. Your folder and file structure lives in that pivot. Now, just to show you what these pivots are, if I press uh, one three with enter, again, the command to move to the very top left corner of my screen. Files. I will hear the current pivot that I have selected. Or if I'm in a folder, I'll hear that current folder name. If I press my next thumb key, you're going to see what these pivots are. You will hear Open navigation that premium button, if I come add down, items button, search button, sorted by name, switch to list view, right. switch to files pivot. So I'm pressing my next thumb key a few times. Here is the files pivot. If I press my next thumb key again. Recent pivot. That's the recent. So recently used documents really will show up here. Press the next key again. Shared pivot. Here's our shared pivot. Again, where if somebody had shared something with us or if we were sharing something somewhere, next thumb key. Photos pivot. We have a photos pivot. So again, if you have photos categorized or synced from somewhere, that would be shown up there as well. So me pivot. And then you have a me pivot, which is again going to be dealing with your um, folders and files and structures that are shared with you. In general, when you're using this app, especially when you're learning it, we want to have the file pivot selected. The file pivot selected. That is where your folder and file structure lives. So if I press the letter F. Files pivot. I'm going to press enter on the files pivot. So I pressed F to jump to it. I'm going to press enter on it to make sure it is selected. Files pivot. Refreshing. And it will say refreshing. Loading. Okay. So now I have my files pivot selected. Now here, this is where I will have folders. And we're going to look at how we create a new folder and also how we look at the folders that are existing. So once I have my, I have my files pivot open, if I press the letter F again, folder, documents, SEP 22, 
2016, you see that 14 I kilobits. a documents folder here that I created on September 22nd, 2016. I don't remember where I was, although I think I was in Texas. Uh, if I, I have no idea. But Files pivot. Four years ago, that is what I selected. If I press my next thumb key, I can move down those folders, like the folders that I have available. So again, we find our folders list by pressing F. After we hear files, we press F again. Files pivot. And we'll hear folder. All right. And I'll press my next thumb key. Documents folder. Email attachment. And I'm getting some choppiness. My Wi-Fi has been bad, so I apologize for the stuttering stuff going on there. Um, that has to do with, with my Wi-Fi for certain, because I was getting this earlier this morning. But we hear that I have a folder for email attachments. If I press my next thumb key, uh, twice. Again, you'll have a commands option after each folder, which we'll get into. But to hear the next folder, I'm going to press the next thumb key twice. Email folder, literature. So this is my literature folder, right? This was created on December 11th, 2017, and so on. So we do have folders. Um, we have the ability to come in and create folders here as well. So these are folders. I have a literature folder, a documents folder, whatever it may be. And after each folder is a commands option that we will be related to that folder. Very similar to Google Drive. When I did that demonstration, you'll remember that after each folder or file, there was a actions for that folder or file option. And this is no different. So after I hear the name of the folder, if I press my next thumb key or my space bar, Literature commands button. We hear that I have literature commands, meaning commands for that folder. Maybe I want to delete it. Maybe I want to rename it. Maybe whatever it is. So after each folder name, you will have a commands option. So if you want to open a folder, you would just press enter on the folder name. If you want to manipulate or do something with the folder, you would press enter on the commands for that folder button. So if I wanted to open, let's just say the literature folder, I would press enter on literature. Folder, literature. Deck 11. We hear this is from December 11th. I'm going to press enter. Refreshing. Loading. Tap plus to add files here. This folder is empty. Okay, so I have nothing in this folder. This folder is empty. We heard it said tap plus to add files here. Again, that would be if we wanted to upload manually, but I will show you an easier way to upload uh, in a moment. So again, our folders, we press enter when we want to open a folder. And by all means, you could create another folder inside this one right? You might have three or four folders inside of your literature folder, or maybe you have a folder for contributions you give to charity, and you might have that broken up by various things and your receipts and your scans and all sorts of things. I mean, there, there's endless ways of, of using the cloud. If I want to come back into my back a level up into my general sort of folders area, I can press my triangle or space. Loading. Key, refreshing. And it says loading and refreshing. And then again, I can press F. Files pivot folder. Documents. And we're back to my top folder, which is documents. If I want to create a new folder here or anywhere, what I can do is press the letter A and move to the add items area. So I'm going to press the letter A. Add items button. Okay. We have an add items button here. Add items. Now, if I press enter, this is where I can add. Again, I'm just looking at the, the top level of my my drive structure here, my OneDrive structure. I'm just in my folder list. If I had opened literature and then went to add items, I could create a folder in literature, for instance. But here, I'm just going to press enter on add items. New. Take a photo button. Okay, I don't want to take a photo. Let's press our next thumb key. Scan don't button. Want to scan something. Let's press our next thumb key again. Create folder well, button. That sounds exactly like what I want. So again, I can press enter on the create folder button. New folder edit box. And I'm in a, an edit box with the word new folder highlighted. This looks exactly very similar to what happens in key files. I'm just going to type in the name of my new folder and press enter. I am going to call this folder science, right? So we're going to type in science. Deleted. Dots two, three, six deleted. Right, I'm going to press enter. Sign navigating into a new folder. OneDrive. Add items and button. And now it places me in that folder. Again, if you want to know what folder you are in, it is shown on the very top left corner of your screen or what the command will bring you there. Remember, one, three with enter. Science. It says science because I'm in the science folder that I just created. If I press my triangle or space with E, I will move up a level into my actual folders list. Loading. Refreshing. And now if I press F, remember, I'll hear files pivot and then I'll hear my first folder. Files pivot folder. Documents, documents folder. SEP22. But if I press my next thumb key a few times and come down to science. Doc email fo letter folder. Personal Vulcan folder. Picked pitch folder. 
Science. Just now, zero kilobits. The internet was just now created, and it has zero KB in it. There is nothing in there, and we're going to come in and upload a file into it. But this is how we can create a folder. It's done through the add items area. All right, so again, it's important to make sure you have your files tab selected. Use F to jump to the folders list. Once you enter a folder, if you wanna come back out of it, use space with E or your triangle to move up a level. And if you wanna know your current location, that is shown on, the, on that one three with enter moving to the top left corner of your screen. Like right now it will say files. Files. That's the current area that I'm in. That's, I have the files tip pivot open. Whereas if I opened a folder like documents, so if I press F and find my documents folder. Files pivot folder documents. Switch to tiles view. Okay, it opens. And now if I hit one three with enter. Documents. I'm in documents. So it's a good way to know where you are. And that's important. You don't, you, you sometimes will get lost, especially when you first start learning and exploring third party apps. It's very easy to lose your place. And you'll want to look for some of those tips and tricks to, to find where the app lets you know you are. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to share a file from keyword or from key files up into one of these folders. Uh, it is very simple, but it requires you to know where you're going. So I'm going to press space with you. Let's just come back to my main. Switch to list view. Loading. Right. So Refreshing. what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the main menu. We're going to upload a file into my science folder. I'm going to come to the main menu by pressing my home button. Main menu. Contacts. All right, I'm going to press letter F to open the file manager. File manager. Key I'm files. Press enter and this will look, we've done this many times on Humanware Live. Many, many times we've gone into key files and looked at folder and file management as well as how we share files. So I'm going to go a little quicker. If you need a refresher, you would definitely want to refer to those episodes where we looked at folder and file management. I'm going to press enter here. Key files. Test of math docs. Test of math docs. I must be in the math folder, but again, we, we want to be in science. So I'm going to select the right drive. Remember, D with space brings me to drive selection. Drive selection. I'm going to storage. press enter on storage. So drive selection, D as in drive, drive selection, D with space. Press enter on storage. Go to alarms. My science folder here. Science folder. Okay. Sci fun day. Everyone remembers docs. all my fun day, fun times, fun stuff happy joy joy sort of uh, files that I've created over these weeks. I want to share fun day up into my science folder in OneDrive, right? Right now we're just internally on my science folder here in, in key files, but maybe I want to upload this because my teacher has access to my shared file or folder. So I'm going to press space with M to open the context menu. Again, you find the file you want to share. You press space with M to open the context menu. Context menu. Mark slash unmark backspace right, with L. I'm going to press S for share. And I'm share. Going to press enter. Share with OneDrive. Use a different app. Now remember, this is where you choose the app you want to share with. So yours might not say share with OneDrive. Mine does because it was the last app I used when I was preparing for this webinar. Yours might say share with Gmail or share with uh, something else. And there are a list of applications that you can choose to share the file with. What app do you want to use? In this case, I want to use OneDrive. It's already been selected because I've used it previously. It was the last one I've used. This is exactly why we don't want to choose the always option. We don't always want to share a file with OneDrive. We might sometimes want to share it with Gmail or Gmail or uh, Dropbox or Google Drive. And so you want to say just once. So I'm going to press enter on just once. Always just once. Button. OneDrive. Upload to OneDrive. All right. And now I'm in the upload to OneDrive dialog that OneDrive gives me. And it's saying, where do you want to put this file? And you need to know the structure here that OneDrive gives you. So you need to find your folder, find the right folder in OneDrive. And that's going to depend on where your folders are. So if I press my next thumb key. Navigate up. Upload. Add items button. Sorted by name. We're going to, we're going to see our folders list here. And if I press my next thumb key, I will now see all of my folders. Switch to list, switch, list view, folder, documents, folder, email attachment, folder, literature, again, deck 11, my, 2000. All folders here in alphabetical order. So use your next thumb key a few times till you find your folders. They're in alphabetical order. I am going to come down and find science. 
folder, 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 science, four minutes ago, zero kilobits. That folder was created four minutes ago. So again, I press enter. Switch to tiles view. Tap the check mark to upload files to this location. Okay. So it will say tap, tap the check mark to upload files to this location. It is somewhat misleading because we don't know what the check mark is, right? There's no button that says check mark. What there is though, once we open the folder that we want to upload the file to, we need to find the upload, upload option so we can press the letter U and it doesn't say button, it doesn't say link. Again, a limitation of this app. It's not necessarily labeled in the clearest way, but we want to find the uh, the element on screen that says upload. And I just press the letter U to find it. So I find upload, I press enter. Key files, find a docs. And it's going to upload that file into drive, into um, OneDrive, I'm sorry. So what I'm gonna do to show you that it's actually done is I'm gonna go in and we're gonna go into the actual science folder and see if it's there. So I'm going to come to the main menu. Main menu, contacts, All right, key I'm list. Open drive. I'm sorry, OneDrive. Again, you could do this by using your app switcher. You could do this in many different ways. I'm gonna come into it by, I'm just gonna. Recent apps, open my recent apps key list. files, fun and day, gonna, docs, recent, recent apps, OneDrive, right. files. So I'm in my files pivot. I'm gonna press F and find my first folder. Files pivot folder documents. Again, we're gonna go see that it's here. I'm gonna use my next thumb key until I get to my science folder. Pictures can folder science seven minutes ago. Switch to tiles now, view. I am in my folder, and once I've opened it, remember you can press one three with enter to make sure you're in the right spot. If I want to find the documents, I want to press the letter D because then I will find the documents in this folder. Remember when we were looking at our folders, we could press F and it would say folder literature, folder science, folder whatever. If we wanna find a document, we press D and we'll be moved to that first document. Document, find A. hey -oh. and here it is. One minute ago. We see that it was uploaded one minute ago and we will also see. Fun day commands. The button. commands for fun day. So again, this will lead me into how do we remove a file? How do we get rid of a folder? How do we move or get rid of something. If we want to delete a file from within this app, we find it and we press enter on the commands for it. So again, we heard that I had my literature folder and then I had a literature, the commands for the literature folder. Here I have a document and then I have called fun day. And if I press my next thumb key, I will find the fun day commands button. So I'm going to press enter on the fun day commands button. Fun day. Share and the button. first option here is share. There are different options in this list, but if I press D, details, one more time, button, delete button, press D twice, we find the delete button and we press enter. Delete this item, delete this item. And it's saying, are you sure you wanna delete this? It says delete this item, question mark. I'm sure there's an okay button here. I press my next thumb key. It will be moved to the recycle right. bin and deleted from all your sync devices. It will move to that recycle bin and deleted from all synced devices. Remember, this is all synchronized. So anything that accesses your OneDrive sees these folders, see these files. I'm going to come down. Cancel. Okay. Button. OK button and press enter. OneDrive. Files pivot. Now, if I look, what I will get is, now it brings me back in. I'm, I'm in my folder, but if I move down. Shift me the, the tap plus this fold list. This folder is empty. Right, we get that this folder is empty. There's nothing here. There are no documents in this folder. I just uploaded one and then I just deleted it. You can work with multiple files. If you have 10 files you want to delete, you can long press with backspace plus the letter L and then you can have check boxes for the files and you can check the ones you'd like to delete. Um, that works very well. So you, you can remove things. And now the final piece is how do we move something? So I'm gonna show you how to move. So again, we've looked at creating a new folder. We've looked at how we can upload something into a folder. We've looked at how we delete a file. The same thing would apply to a folder if we wanted to delete a folder. And now we're going to look at how do we move information? How do we organize something? How would I put Let's just say something that was in my documents folder. How would I move it to the science folder here within OneDrive? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come uh, out of this folder, press space with E or my triangle button. Loading. Refreshing. Right. I'm going to open my documents folder. So again, I want to press the letter F to find our folders, our folders, our folders. So I'm going to press F. Files, pivot, folder, documents, 
SEP 22. Okay, I'm going to press enter. I think I have something in here. Refresh. Switch to tiles view. Okay, Document. Okay. Open navigation. Premium. Add item. Search. By, sorted by. Switch to. Switch right. to. Files. Pivot. Recent. Pivot. So shared. Pivot. Document. D, James Wanamaker. Remember, what I was showing you there is I could use my next thumb key a million times. And I was going to hear switch to this and switch to that and add this and add that and do this and do that and list view and tile view and welcome and all that. If I just hit D, I'll move to the first document in that folder. And that's really what you want to be doing. When you open a folder, if you're looking for a file, press the letter D, save yourself the time. Now, here is my, this file is called James Wanamaker. This is a formatted Word document that I demonstrate sometimes when I want to talk about advanced formatting within Keyword. Uh, but I want to move this into my, let's just say, into the literature folder because this is really, that's where it needs to be. So again, we see the document name, James Wanamaker. I press my next thumb key. Deck 11, we 2017. See that I uploaded this on December 11th, 2017. I press my next thumb key again. James Wanamaker commands button. All right, that's what we want. We want the commands for James Wanamaker. That's where we'll find the options. What do we want to do with James Wanamaker? So I press enter. James Wanamaker, share button. Right, I don't want to share it. I want to move it. I'm going to press M. Move button. And I'm going to press enter on the move button. Select destination. Move here. Button. So it's saying select destination. Where do I want this to go? And at this point, again, knowing the structure of your OneDrive, your particular setup, is very important because you need to know where your files and folders and things are located. So if you want to know the current folder you're in, press 1-3 with enter. Select destination, next open key. navigation and menu. If you don't hear anything up there, that means you're just looking at the standard sort of your, your top level. So I'm going to press my next thumb key or files, pivot, F, folder, documents, right, until I get down to my first folder, which here it's documents. Let's find, and you'll notice here, if I press my next thumb key, folder, email attachments, you'll notice I didn't have Gen 10, a, 2017, stopping speech. You'll notice I didn't have a commands for that folder because I'm in a list of folders. It's asking me where I want to move something. So there's not going to be any command options for these folders because it's, it wants me to pick one in order to move my file. So I'm going to find literature in this list. Folder, fold, folder, fo folder, 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 literature. All right. Deck. I find the folder I want. I press enter. Files pivot. It is open. Tap move here to move the item to this folder. It says tap move here to move the item to this folder. Move here. Move here. Button. Is a button, so I can press the letter M. Once I open the folder where I want to place this file or move this file, I'm going to press M, find the move here button, and press enter. Moving. It's going to move it. Moving. One drive. Files pivot. Now it's been moved. And now this folder, again, if I press 1-3 with enter. Documents. I'm in my documents folder. If I press the letter D. Bottom. Nothing. I don't find a document here. There's no document. I've moved it out. This folder is empty. Bottom. So if I come all the way down, you will hear. Bottom. Tap plus. This folder is empty. This folder is empty. Right? I moved that file away. I moved it into the literature folder. So again, takes practice. This takes some learning. This takes some using. There is so much more here. Tons, tons, tons. Some is very doable. Some is not. You need to do some problem solving. Um, if you're looking to use OneDrive, there are many pieces of this you can use very well, very easily. Um, you can certainly you know, work with files in many ways. I'm going to show you before I throw it over to Andrew how to download a file, and then I'm going to th throw it over to Andrew, but you can certainly use this in a myriad of ways. Um, and you just need to, this will scratch the surface in terms of organization and basic upload download, but you, you can certainly take it to, to other levels. I'm going to press my previous thumb key and get out of the documents folder. Loading. All right. Refreshing. I'm going to come find that document in the, let's just say James Wanamaker that I want to download that to my device. I want to work with it in keyword and maybe answer some questions and then re-upload it. I'm going to press the letter F and find my first folder. Files, pivot, folder, documents, document, folder, email, folder, literature, commands, folder, literature. Okay, literature. I used my next thumb key to come down and find literature. I press enter. Refreshing. Okay, I want to find the documents in here, so I'm going to press the letter D at this point. Document, James Wanamaker. Remember, I just put this here. So here's James Wanamaker. If I press uh, enter on the commands button for James Wanamaker, so I'm going to press my next thumb key twice. James Wanamaker, scan. Once. James Wanamaker commands button. So here's my James Wanamaker commands. I press enter. James Wanamaker, 
Share and now button. we're in the commands menu. I don't want to share it. Move I button. I don't want to move it. Copy button. I don't button. want to copy it. Save button. I do want to save it. I want to save it to my device. So again, if you want to save it or download it, we're going to press enter on save. OneDrive, folder, one items, Keysoft underscore apps. And it's going apps. to place me into an area where I'm looking at my internal storage. This is where I need to figure out what folder do I want to put this in? Where do I want this to go on my Braille Note Touch Plus? And there are options to navigate up and look at other locations. You know, you could save this somewhere else. I want this to go into, let's just say my, oh, let, let's put this in, let's put this in a Braille Note info folder that I have. So I'm going to press my next thumb key and find bottom. that folder. Navigate up. If I bottom. need to, Step folder. I can come to bottom. navigate up. Save. If you're not seeing it, if you're not sure where you are, you can always navigate up. press enter on navigate up and move up one level. Loading. Again, this would this is showing your internal storage structure. Save device save. Folder zero folder three I folder one items folder zero items folder zero items braille note info. And you hear that I went through lots of folders here. It's showing me they were, they're in alphabetical order, but they all start with the word folder. This is just how OneDrive does it. So you need to find your folder in this list. Press enter to open it. In this case, Braille Note Info. You're going to press enter. Tap, tap, save to save your file to this location. And it says tap save to save your file to this location. Save. So I press S and find save and press enter. Preparing. OneDrive. Your file has started downloading. And now it will James Wanamaker commands. But now it will be placed in my RailNote info folder. So again, I'm taking it down from OneDrive and opening it in RailNote info. Again, lots of practice. There's a lot going on here. You need to remember this is a third-party application. So notice the lack of shortcuts, right? We don't press something with space to, to activate a specific shortcut here. We're working with the icons and the structure of the app that we're given. So we looked at folder creation, we looked at uploading, we looked at moving a file, and we looked at downloading a file. And you can do this all in OneDrive. Andrew Flatris, I am throwing it to you to talk about Dropbox. Okay, awesome. Right, so let me just get myself set up. So I'm just gonna share my screen. Okay, Boom. so Peter, just confirm you can hear my uh, my device, email, okay? Email. A bit low. Sure can turn it up a little bit. Internet, Chrome. You're good. Play store. Word That's processor, good? keyword. Ring yes. Button. Okay, awesome. Okay, so Dropbox. Um, and now Dropbox shares some of the same characteristics as OneDrive, um, but there are some differences. And, and as Peter was saying, you know, as of today, it... Um, what I'm going to show you is exactly how it is today, and it could also change at any given time. Um, so we're going to first of all go to the application. We're going to explore the application. And we're going to do the exact same thing as what Peter was, uh, was, was doing as well. We're going to go to create some folders. We're going to upload a file, uh, delete file, and move some files. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to my all applications. So I'm going to press A. All applications, bottom. And main menu, I'm going to go to Canada Dropbox. Kindle. So press in the letter D. Dictionary. Until I get Docs. to Dropbox. Drive. Drift Sync. Do I get it free? Dropbox. There we have it. And press Enter. Dropbox. Edit and do profile. Okay, so let's explore. So using my thumb keys, I'm going to go forward through, and making sure that we're at the top of our uh, application by pressing space one, two, three. We're going to go forward and we're going to explore what are the options. And I'm going to highlight some of the, the options that we're going to talk about more. Uh, there are some options that we're going to skip and uh, are probably less relevant. Um, so the first thing as I go forward is going to give me my sort of user credentials. Andrew Footers. Andrew.Footers at googlemail.com. Okay, I'm going to go forward again. 0.0% of 2.0 GB used. So this is a free account. With Dropbox, you, you do get two gigabytes free use. So it gives me some information of how much of that uh, cloud storage has been used up. So at the moment, I've got hardly any information in there at the moment. Let's go forward okay, again. For more space, button. So if you do find yourself that uh, two gigabyte is just not enough, you can upgrade for more space. Um, of course, that would, there are several payable options. Home tab. 
We have a home tab and files tab selected. Files tab. Okay, and um, we're I mean, going down. We'll have paper. paper tab. Photos. photos. Tab. Now, I'm not sure quite sure what paper is. What it does, it takes you to a different application. So, what you do find is that some applications interlink with other apps. Um, so, I'm not going to go through uh, paper. Photos, if you want to upload any digital photos, you can do. You can upload them into this folder. Uh, any offline content? Offline tab. So there is an option where you can save files to offline. All of your offline documents will appear in, on this tab here. And then lastly, notifications tab. You'll have notifications tab. So if you do have files that have been uploaded, maybe you have a teacher that's uploading some files to your drive, uh, you'll get notified to say that there is a file uploaded. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is going to create a, a folder. So the first thing, similar to uh, OneDrive, we will go to Files. So we can press the letter F. Files tab selected. And press Enter. Files tab selected. Okay. Now, at this point, if we wanted to jump to the folders, very similar to OneDrive at this point, we can press the letter F to take us to any existing folders. Andrew. Okay. So at the moment, I have an Andrew folder. I'm going to use my forward thumb key again. More options for Andrew. Button. And we have a more actions button. So very similar to the OneDrive, there is a, an action or command shortcut that uh, is after each folder. And the same would apply on each file. So you'll get identical uh, sort of action commands after a file as well. Folder training. Okay, we have a training folder. More options for training button. And we have a more options button after the training. Create files button. And we have a create files button. So that's the actual button that we need to select to actually create a new folder or file. So we could press the letter C, that will take us straight to that button, or you can press space four, five, and six to jump to the very bottom of this page, and that will take you to that button also. I'm gonna press enter on the create file button. Let's see what options we have. Dropbox. Okay, again, using my, my uh, next thumb key, I'm gonna go through the list of what we have. Take a photo. Okay, we don't want to take a photo. So again, some of these same options are appearing in OneDrive here. Scan document. We have scan document. We don't want to upload do that. Upload photos or videos. We don't want to upload photos or videos. Create or upload file. And we don't want to create or upload a file just yet. Create new folder. But we do want to create a new folder. So at this stage, I'm going to press my enter key. Untitled folder edit box. Create new folder. And again, very similar to OneDrive, you are prompted with what's the folder name. I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this fun. six. M U N. Oh, I'm not fun. And deleted. And deleted. F U N. Okay, and I'm going to press enter. Fun. And then I'm going to use my thumb keys to go to the create button. Cancel button. Create button. And press enter. Oh. Are you still there, Peter? I am for sure. Okay. I was muted. Sorry. I just want to make sure I, my internet has now <laughs> lost the connection. <laughs> no, so, you're good. Uh, so, so while, while Andrew gets himself back up, yeah, I, I, I was, I was checking the, uh, checking to see what's going on. The, you'll notice that a lot of these options are very similar to what we were hearing through um, when I looked at Wi-Fi. OneDrive. And the reason why that's important is a lot of times these apps, you can follow certain characteristics. I mean, no app is going to be the same, but in troubleshooting, you're knowing that sometimes buttons are labeled or unlabeled, and you're going to be able to employ those same premise, to, you know, to kind of troubleshoot and problem solve your way around certain apps. I think you're back, Andrew. Yeah, I think I'm back. So I thought I was talking to myself at that stage as soon as Oh, you no, no, you're that. golden. I was, <laughs> you are golden. Okay, so I created the folder fun and it gave me that prompt that has no internet connection. So obviously um, I've just refreshed my, my internet connection. I'm not sure what's happening here. Maybe uh, the wife is using up all the, the bandwidth. <laughs> so let's go to create button this time and press enter and hopefully that will create the folder. Dropbox, create files button. Okay, and it's uh, created the folder, but the location of where it's taking you to doesn't really tell you that much. So there's some right. information like, uh, I know on OneDrive, it, it took you to the actual folder name. You was able to identify where you are quite easily. Compared to Dropbox, it's not as easy. So you do have to do some, let's say, moving around. Okay, so um, at the moment, I am at the bottom of my, my application. So if I'm using my left previous thumb key, if I come out. This folder is empty. It does say that this folder is empty, but it doesn't mean which folder I'm in. It doesn't tell me. So again, I'm going to have to do a lot of moving around here by using my left thumb key. Review button. Sort by. Sort by share button. Only you. Fun. 
heading. Okay, and it's now giving me the heading of fun. So that's telling me at this stage that I am in the fun folder that is select and that the folder is empty. So it is not as, the workflow is not as good as OneDrive, shall we say, on the, on the Dropbox. Um, so it does mean that you will need to move around a little bit more to understand where you are. And, and it's a great, it's great to see that because I couldn't figure out OneDrive where I was that easy until I realized that it always shows it on that very top part. Whereas this, you know that whatever is going to have this heading, that's generally the folder name. And, and this will differ from app to app. So you will learn based on what you're using. Maybe you're using Google Drive. Maybe you're using OneDrive. Maybe you're using Dropbox. You will learn the more you use it how to quickly find the folder you're in or how to quickly find the first document or how to quickly find an anchor point that will help you locate certain parts of third-party apps for certain. Now, if I want to go back to, to review all of my other folders, I can press the triangle shaped key that Dropbox. will take me back heading. and my head in Dropbox would then identify, let me know that I'm in a list of, of different folders. But again, I could press the letter uh, F at this point. Files tab selected. I'm in the files tab, press F again. Folder, Andrew. And it's given me my folders option. My first one, which is Andrew. If I go down More again, for Andrew, button. again, using my next fun key. Folder, fun. And there's the folder fun. And again, I'll have an action button after that. More options for fun, button. And again, training. Folder, training. So I have uh, three folders. Uh, let's, let's upload a file now. So I'm going to go back to my main menu. And there's various main different menu. ways Contact. Key list. of sending files. Um, as Peter was saying, there are some uh, previous webinars that we, we covered and showcased uh, how to share files. But I'm going to go to the file manager. File manager. Key file. Key files. Fun day. Oh, right. and look, and I have a fun day document, exactly the same as you there, Peter. I'm going to share this you one. You are so. such a copycat, <laughs> Andrew. Context menu. So I press space and M to open the context menu. I'm going to hit press S. Share. And press enter. Share with that to Dropbox. Use a different app. Okay, so again, I will have my last, um, my last action that I'll use. So share with add to Dropbox. Now there is two options that you will get, okay? Now there are two options. You'll get share with add to Dropbox, and there'll also be another option of share with Dropbox. They're two different things. The one that I recommend for this action, I'm gonna choose add to Dropbox, will allow you just to upload files Okay, with the share with Dropbox, what that does, it does two things at once. It adds it to Dropbox, but also allows you to send it as an email to share it with someone. So for example, if I wanted to share this instantly with, with uh, Peter, uh, maybe the best option for me would be to share with Dropbox, and I could type in Peter's email, and it will upload the file to Dropbox, but also send him a link so that he can access that file as well. So it's slightly different to OneDrive here. It gives you a bit more options, but that is the difference between these two options. So when you do uh, share it with uh, Dropbox, there are two options and they are different. So I'm gonna choose share with add to Always Dropbox. Button. Just once, button. I'm gonna choose just once. Cancel, button. And this stage is giving me a focus of cancel. Let's move around here. What do we have? Add fun day, docs to. Heading. Okay, so it's adding fun day to docs2. It's still not telling me exactly where, which folder it's taking me to. New folder. Okay, if I want to create a new folder to send this to, I can, but I don't want to do that because I've got existing folders in there already. File, andrew.docs, 7.3 KB, modified one hour ago, disabled. Okay, it's giving me the file name itself, and then add lastly, button. it has an add button. But So it's not really telling me where it's, it's actually saving. So again, this is where a little bit of troubleshooting, a little bit of moving around. I'm going to navigate backwards to the file name. File, andrew.docs, 7.3 KB, modified one hour ago, disabled. Now at this point, if I hit the back button, it should then give me a list of the folders. Cancel button. Okay, so it didn't give me any warning at that point, but it gave me, fo it, re it changed my focus. I'm going to go forward again to see what Add we have. New folder, folder, Andrew. Okay, now I have access to those folders. Folder, fun. And there's the fun folder. So I'm gonna press enter on that. And remember there was an add button. So let's press the letter A. Add button. And then press enter. Key files, fun day, docs. Okay, and that's now added that uh, file to the science, uh, to the fun folder. So let's take a look. Let's open recent up recent apps, recent apps. My recent Dropbox, apps. folder, training. And I'm gonna to go to the fun folder. More options for fun, button folder, fun. Files, fun day. Docs, 7.3 KB, modified 19 seconds ago. And there's the fun day there. Uh, now, one little bit of difference between the OneDrive. Uh, Peter, you mentioned that uh, to jump to documents, you could press the letter D. Well, on this, yes. on this uh, 
cloud storage, it's actually, it's actually the letter F again. So F for folders and F for files. Um, so if there are files and you want to jump to files, it's the letter F. And again, folder, letter F. So there isn't any differentiator between those two, unfortunately, but that, uh, that is how the app has been uh, developed, I'm afraid. Yep. And it also comes into play. I mean, this is exactly where, you know, you, you might want, you might have 13, 15, 200 documents in a folder. You don't want to, you can't use first letter navigation. You wouldn't press the letter F a million times. You might want to search for, if your app has a search feature like OneDrive does or Dropbox does, search for the folder name, search for the file name, instead of trying to find it in these long lists, because everything starts with F or in OneDrive, everything starts with D when you're in a folder and you're looking through documents. Okay, let me just jump to my files again. So I'm going to press F. File, fun day. Docs. Okay, and we're going to go through seconds ago. how to delete uh, a file. Uh, so again, this is the file I'm going to delete, although I've just uploaded it. I'm going to delete it again. Uh, we're going to go to that more action button, which is just after that. So let's go more to options for fun more day. options button. Docs. We're going to press enter. File, fun day. Docs, in folder fun 7.3 KB, modified one minute ago. Okay, now this offers us offers various different options here. Now, there is a little bit of a, um, it's not a trick, but um, where you have to, then, again, do a bit of troubleshooting again, because the way that this app has been created, it's been more created for a visual appearance as opposed to Braille in mind. So as I go navigate forward using my thumb keys, what I want to find is the delete option here. If I press the letter D, Bottom. Bottom. it's not giving me any options. So I'm gonna continue going forward. Copy link. See what options we have. Share. Manage access. Make available offline. Make available offline. Switch off. Start. Rename. Copy. Move. Open with. Bottom. Okay, and it's it's now finished that open with. Now with Dropbox, what you'll need to do when you're at this stage is you'll need to press your two outer thumb keys to turn touch brow off. Touch brow off. Now using the touch screen. And using two fingers, we have to swipe up. Oops, Cancel. Button. Second. That didn't work right as well. I wanted to see. Dropbox. Again. More options for fun day. File. Fun day. Docs. In folder fun 7.3. Edit box. Rename file. Print. Dropbox. More options for fun day. Doc file. Fun day. Docs. In folder 7.3 KB. Modified three minutes ago. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So it's two fingers swipe up. What that does, again, doesn't give you any audi auditory feedback but it allows you to have two extra options. Okay, I'm gonna revert back to touch brow on, so I'm gonna use my two thumb keys again. Touch on. Now, if, if I continue to go down. Copy, share, Man, make, a, make a vape, start, rename, copy, move, open with, export, delete. I now have access to delete. So it's not, the workflow is not as good as the OneDrive here. So there is some troubleshooting that you will need to do. So turn off the touch brow by using your two out of thumb keys. And then with two fingers, we swipe up and that gives us some extra options here, export and delete. So I'm going to press enter on delete. Fun day, docs, fun day, docs. Are you sure you want to delete this item from your Dropbox? Okay, and we're going to go to the delete button. Cancel, button, delete, button. Deleted fun day, docs, Dropbox. Edit and refocus this profile. Okay, and we've now got to the delete button. So just to recap on that, when you go to that more actions button, the more options button on that file, if the delete option is not available, then remember, turn touch bell off by using your two out of thumb keys. And with two fingers, we swipe up. That will give us access to two additional commands, the export and delete option. So it's a bit fiddly. Um, it's not as intuitive as we'd like, but unfortunately that is how the app has been developed. Um, so we now how to create a folder. We now how to upload a file and delete a file. Uh, let's choose, um, let's do exactly what you did, Peter. Was it, uh, how we can download a file. Okay. Download or how we can or move it up, whatever. Yeah, uh... sure. Okay. So let's go to my files. Files tab selected. Drop Note up. everyone that I gave Andrew the app that doesn't have the smoothest workflow and I took the easy one. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm in the list of all my folders. I'm going to press F. Files tab selected. Folder, Andrew. Okay, and let's have a look what we have in Andrew folder. File, Andrew.docs, 7.3 okay, KB, so modified one hour ago. I have no idea what's in this document, so any, in any case. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the um, more action button. The more, more options button. for Andrew.docs. Okay, so you find the file that you want to open. I'm going to press enter. File, Andrew.docs, in folder, Andrew, 7.3 KB, modified one hour ago. 
Okay, and again, various options here. You can export it if you wish. Remember, there was an option to export. But what we're going to do here, more easier, is open oh. with. So I'm going to press the letter O. Open with. I'm going to press enter on open with. Open with. And it now gives me various options of how do I want to open this document? Which app do I want to open it with? Now, I want to make sure that I open with keyword. Word. Docs. Keyword. Okay, we select keyword. Android.docs. Android.docs. Alert. Keyword document or error. Unable to open the file close button. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. Let's try that again. More options. Create files button. More options for Android.doc file. Android.doc share. Manage. Make a mess. Stop. Rename. Copy. More open open with. with. Open with. Word doc. Send to Zoom always button. Just once button. Android. Keyword did not close last session properly. Do you discard button? Edit box. Hello. Okay. So it's now I've got hello my name I. So I didn't finish off. I was obviously doing some testing here, Peter. <laughs> um, so here at this stage, although I opened the file, it's, it, what it's done is it's saved, or it's trying to save it in a temporary location. Okay, so at the moment, it's not physically saved on your device. It's in, a, in between the, the Dropbox and your device. So at any point, what you need to do is make sure that you press um, backspace and S to save, your, uh, to save this file. So at this stage, I'm going to press backspace and S. Enter file name, edit box, temp attachment, save us. And by default, it's called temp attachment. And I'm just going to call this. Uh, you, you get deleted. Let's just call Two this. Two possible suggestions. N, Q. What? Things are not working very well today. Q deleted. D, R, E, W. Okay, Andrew, hello. Key files. Enter. Are you sure you want to overwrite this file? Key file. I'll are you sure? Yeah. Cancel. Button. OK. Button. Edit box. Hello. So that's now saved a file, a version of that Dropbox to my documents folder, uh, sharing the same name as Andrew. Okay, so that is the, the slight difference. And remember what, what you're doing here is not going to synchronize to the Dropbox. So if any changes that you make here, remember you'll need to then upload the file back to that document. Is that what you did, Peter? Did you change any of your documents and then re-upload it or... No, I, so that'd be the same thing. If you're, if you're downloading a file, because a lot of the, when, when you're looking at syncing file content, um, this will then, you'll have to re-upload. If this is really, when you want to share or collaborate or sync things, you're going to need to do it directly in the app. And then you have a very, very different experience because it's going to try to wall you into using Microsoft Word or using a third-party app. That's going to be a whole new learning experience. So if you need to work with files, on these cloud storage platforms, you want to bring them down, work with them, and then upload them as chain, you know, upload your changes. These are not collaboration sort of collaborative sync documents here because we're working with keyword. Definitely, definitely, yeah. So just remember, any changes that you do make to your files, you'll need to re-upload them again, So, uh, which I previously showed you. You can go to File Manager and you can share, or you can share directly from within keyword. Uh, again, just refer to one of our previous webinars on that. Uh, and that's it, Peter. Uh, so we know how to create a folder. We know how to upload a file, delete files. Uh, so it's not as uh, an easy workflow compared to some of the cloud storages like OneDrive and OneDrive. Uh, yet it's just uh, just involves a bit of moving around. Yeah, and, and I think there was a question. It said, these both look the same. How do we decide which one we want? You decide whatever you want. <laughs> there is no right or wrong answer. Um, what's most important is knowing or having a, a good sense of how these different things work so that when you meet someone and they say, okay, I'll send you a Dropbox link or I'll send you, you're not like, oh no, I don't know how to use that, right? Having exposure to it. So here at, at Humanware, sometimes, you know, we, we share things in different ways. Or even this morning, we, we normally do Zoom meetings. This morning we had a Microsoft Teams meeting. And I mean, it's, I didn't flinch, right? It's okay. Well, this is just a different platform and we, we want to have exposure to, and that's why we're showing just how to problem solve and how to work with some third party apps. They're sometimes not pretty. The, sometimes the workflow isn't as smooth as we would like. That does absolutely not mean we can't use them. Um, we just have to employ different methods for troubleshooting and so on. And you might find one that works perfectly for you. And, and that's what you use. And we all have that. I use, uh, Google Drive primarily because I know the app very well. I know how to use it on the web app very well. Um, and something like Dropbox is, is probably second. 
OneDrive is, is not used as much for me personally, but that doesn't mean I don't know how to use it and that I couldn't use it on different devices. So you're going to find what might work best for you. And also just knowing that you may need to do some, some scoping, right? You're gonna do some searching <laughs> and exploring to really figure these things out. Do you know how to move a file in there, Andrew? Yeah, so there's two other things I forgot to mention. Uh, so let me just quickly go back to the recent app. Apps, recent apps, Dropbox. More options for Android. So in some Dropbox. occasions, uh, you may want to share the file. Okay, so what I do a lot of, like to Peter, for example, if I want to share some files or certain firmware, new upgrades, um, I will send a Dropbox link to, to Peter. And so to do that on here, if you go to the file or the folder and you go to that more options button, so I'm going to press the more options button here. Uh, so I'm currently on file Andrew dot docs 7.3 one hour ago. If I want to share that or just copy a link and send that to Peter, this is how I more do options that. For docs button. Go to the more options. File Andrew dot docs in folder and copy link. And then I can choose copy link. So at this stage, once I copy a link, let's enter. Creating link, creating link, Dropbox. More options for Andrew docs button. It creates a link and then you're ready to paste. So if you didn't want to send it to maybe on an email, you can then create a new email and paste. You could also share. There's another option to share. Uh, Andrew dot docs, copy link, share. Press enter on share. Dropbox, it gives you options. Share. Heading. So here again, it gives you an option to send the email directly. Uh, so there's various different ways of sharing a file in a folder. You just choose the best method uh, for yourself. Uh, As for moving a file, did you say moving a file? So again, moving a file. Between locations in there. So if you yeah. want to move something from fun to Andrew. Yeah, so uh, I don't think I've got anything in the fun. Let's move this Andrew fold file from the Andrew folder into the fun. So let's select that file. more action Andrew button. In folder Andrew 7.3 KB. And there should be a move option. Manage access. Press the Make it offline. Switch off. Move. Press enter. Cancel button. Okay, and we're going to move around using our fun keys move again. Move docs to heading. New folder. So we can move it to a new folder. Folder Andrew. Okay, and we can put it back into Andrew folder. folder. Fun. Or we can choose fun. I'm going to press enter on fun. And then there is an option that is called move. So remember when we wanted to add something, we would press the letter A, but this time we're, we're moving. So we're going to press the letter move M. Button. It should be a move button. Moving, moving. And that's going to move. Oh. Dropbox, edit Andrew Filters' profile. Okay, and just to confirm, bang, bang, bingo, just double bam. check. So we're going to go into the folder. folder Andrew. And we're going to go to More the options fun. For Andrew. Button. Folder. fun. And we're going to go files, files again. Select file. Andrew dot docs. There we go. Three KB modified one hour ago. Into my fun awesome. folder. And remember to check to know which folder you're in. Um, I'm going to use my previous fun key Review. just to move That's around. Share button. Only you. Fun heading. Okay, and I'm in the fun heading. There we go, Peter. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, again, just just looking at different cloud storage options. These are are just something that you may come across, something you may want to use. I would strongly, very strongly encourage everybody out there to use cloud storage in some form or another uh, because the folders do sync between your devices, because you know that if your uh, Braille note or your phone or something gets ruined or wet or you destroy it somehow, right? You know you can always access these these documents. Um, and And again, it's just, Cloud storage is, is the reality. It has been for some time. It's not going away. If anything, it's going to be more prevalent. So having exposure to it is, is extremely important and just having some familiarity with it. And then knowing that these apps or the system or the structure that you learn today may change at any notice, right? You might launch OneDrive next week and it looks entirely different. And that is just what we have to, what we have to contend with. So please keep that in mind. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, Andy, do we have some questions before we give away our, our coveted sure. hour um, uh, with a product specialist? Okay, so we had a quick question, which uh, hopefully we've answered is how to uh, share a file or folder via an email. Um, so, and I guess it's similar to, to OneDrive, that you know, under that more action button, the more option button, there'll be that option to share and when you click on share, it then gives you various options of how you want to share. So you can share it via an email. It will probably give you other programs if you've got uh, certain applications installed as well. Right. And it's important to remember, you're not actually, because generally when we think of sharing a file via email, we think of attaching that file. 
And you really don't want to do that this way. You want to give somebody access to it in the cloud as well. You really want to be sharing it and giving them a link or giving them direct access. That's, and you can do that, certainly do that via email. Uh, okay, so another question here. Is it possible to directly edit a file <clears throat> stored in the cloud, such as editing a Word document in Keyword? Um, so Sam, this is exactly what we mentioned before, that you, it doesn't work on the fly. So you will need to download the file, um, make your changes, and then you'll need to re-upload that file back into the cloud. So you won't be able to work in real time with the, the file that is stored in the cloud. Uh, we have some raised hands, so I've now enabled the raised hands. Uh, if you do want to talk to us live, and we have a few of them come in. They are popping up. All right, we we'll go. take a couple, so then we'll, we'll, we'll draw it up. Let's go for area code 248. Is that an area code? <laughs> area code 248. Welcome. Oh, it's me. Hello. Perfect. Hi, um, I uh, I tried to do this along with you, Andrew, with the Dropbox, and uh, the first thing I ran into right away was uh, I never went to, I, I think you were on the files. Yes. And I, I, so I, I'm wondering, how do you know when to use, uh, do you ever use the, um, the, uh, the keys above the, I can't remember the what, the cursor keys. Oh Can yes, yes. Or is that enter or what? Because I I I play around and I find that I I find that I yes, you know, sure. I went to the delete thing and it went and delete. It wanted to delete a folder instead of a file, and I said no. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. So the the cursor key. So a couple of questions. There. So the cursor key. Um, the only time you'd use a cursor key at this point when you're in Dropbox is instead of the enter key. So it's an action button. So if you do want to press enter onto uh, on a file or the action button, you can press the cursor key. Um, one thing to be sure is when you're deleting something uh, or you go into that more action button, before you go to that more action button, just be, you know, get an understanding of where you are. So for example, if I go to my F for files oh, at this point uh, and press enter, uh, I'm going to press the letter F again for folder. folder Andrew. Okay, I now I'm in my folder. Every time I press my next thumb key now after this, there will be an option. More options for Andrew button. Okay, a more option button for Andrew. So at this stage, if I wanted to delete this folder, this is where I'd go. If there are files, so let me go into the folder. folder Andrew. Okay, I'm going to go to folder Andrew, press enter. There are no files in there. I mean, I could press the letter F. Files tab selected. Bottom. Files tab selected. It's just giving me an error oh, message. Yeah. yeah, so it's telling me that there's no... Uh, indicating that there's no files to jump to or no folders in that Andrew because you could have subfolders again if you do want to find out and make sure you can just do some moving around so I'm going to press my bottom on my documents space four five and six bottom. settings tab uh, space bottom. four five six Andrew, Andrew dot and just keep this going up. But sort by share button Andrew heading okay so there's my Andrew heading yeah. and the folder was empty so it, it you know as I said as uh, the, the workflow isn't sometimes as good compared to like OneDrive or G Drive. Uh, just needs you to, to move around. Uh, and, it, and it comes down to, I would start by creating folders that you want, you know, creating folders in that, in that files area. And then from that point, you're going to start to learn how to move things around, how to upload and download. Trying to follow along with us is definitely not recommended because we are moving very, very <laughs> fast and you will get <laughs> mighty, mighty lost. I promise you. If you spend some time with it, you'll certainly, if cloud storage is something you want to use, you'll certainly start to get that kind of under, under control. Well, I, I actually bought this thing. So, I mean, I bought the 10, I bought the whatever, the big one. The, the 10, 10 whatever, yeah, sure, sure, I did. Sure. Awesome. I so, to have it all fill it up. I would strongly encourage <laughs> create those folders and fill it up because it's uh, certainly, you know, it, it's all there and you can always refer to this, um, refer back to this and, and go slow, right? Go slow, make it, trying to wander around and, and kind of get your, get your bearings. It's like learning a new room, right? I, I even, well, I even know, I also saw on all my, full, on all my files, a lot of my files have, uh, have a file and then next to a file and then it has next to it, it has some kind of image name. 
And it's like, what in the world is, I haven't clicked on those to see what they are. Are, are you on a Braille Note Touch or a Touch Plus? Touch Plus. Because I'm wondering if you need to update your app. If you're getting icons and graphics, you may need to update the Dropbox app. You shouldn't be seeing those graphic icons and image icons generally. So okay, you might, yeah. Um, you might want to okay. update the app through the Play Store. So Yeah, yeah this is the okay. latest app I just I installed it today. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cause I may, yeah, I don't, yeah, this is, I, I just got it back from Humanware last, uh, you know, uh, Friday. So awesome. <laughs> to be clean and fixed and whatever. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for being here. Thanks very much. Thank Take you. care. All right. Let's keep them, keep them coming. Let's do a few more. Remember if you're on the phone, star nine to raise your hand. If you are on a windows PC, alt Y, if you're on a Mac, option Y. And if you are using the app, you will find a raise hand button if you're in the actual meeting controls, if you're, if you're looking at that. Okay, next All is right, Fabian. Andrew. Hello, Fabian. Fabian. Hi, can you hear me? Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> uh, with OneDrive that you were doing, Peter, um, like you were uploading and you were going through the, uh, the different files in the folder. Can you just search for the um, the folder that you want to up, upload to? So I, I'm, I'm looking now. I don't think there is a search option in that upload dialog. Uh, there is a search. I'm gonna and I'm gonna do this while I'm gonna check while I talk. There is a search option when you're in the actual app itself to locate folders and to locate files. But when you're sharing, generally you need to manually find the place where you want to put it. And again, that's something that would be a limitation of the app itself. Uh, I'm looking now and no, I do not have any sort of share option. You're going to have to navigate through your folder list and through your, your you know, through your structure to find the appropriate place. There is no sh uh, search option, unfortunately. Can you create documents um, with the OneDrive like, um, like you can with in Google Drive? Can you create documents? You could, but again, you're, you're running the risk of then learning how to use the Microsoft Word app, which is going to contain its own set of limitations. So certainly you can, uh, but I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna find that very, very time consuming and frustrating to try and create documents directly from within the uh, OneDrive application. Yeah, I'm just curious because um, I teach uh, system technology for a living so this getting, you know, just trying to learn this stuff for when I go back to work. <laughs> totally. Love it, man. That's, that's fantastic. And, and that's a lot of this. That's why, why we like doing these things. Cause it, it does help it give you more, you know, more ammunition for when you're teaching someone, not only here, but just on, on an iPhone or on anywhere, just knowing the structure plays a huge role in being effective and using cloud storage and cloud technology. So. What's that? What'd you say, Fabian? And uh, I've been really uh, appreciating the, uh, the. Oh, these, perfect. Uh, yeah. We, we appreciate you being here. So thanks a bunch and keep, uh, keep on tuning in. Maybe you'll win an hour of training and we can really go crazy. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, Andrew. Okay. So next one we have is RJ. RJ, fire away. Uh, hello. Can anyone hear me? Absolutely. Yeah, we can. So, is, is um, you uh, you know the uh, OneDrive thing you're talking today? I prefer Google. Is it is it allowed? Am I allowed to still use Google Drive? You are allowed to use anything you want, RJ. Anything at all. Uh, it's just it's just another cloud storage option. So, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive. Um, you know, you might use. There are other cloud management systems out there um, you might you might want to use so this because is just the another Google, option because the google drive just comes pre-installed so i don't need to fast you know just press the letter d in the old applications and i can just open it up and fire away you got it rock and roll yep this is just just a just an example of another optioning for somebody who might be using it in the workplace or maybe their school or somewhere else so you use whatever you like yeah, I'm, I'm actually tuning in via my iPhone because my Braille note is with you because uh, my one's in repair. So awesome. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's nice I can still listen to you, but this is from a different angle. So Sounds very great. interesting. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks a bunch for being here. Thanks, you're welcome. 
All right, RJ. What else we got? We'll do one more, and then we'll we'll do our drawing. We'll let everyone okay. go to their lunches. We have uh, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Oscar. Go for it. Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, hi, guys. Um, uh, I wanted to um, uh, ask a uh, question, and I have a bit of a feedback. Uh, so the first question is, um, like, uh, can you, like, if, for example, like, I use one drive, on my PC, um, but uh, like, um, but let's say, for example, I have like a file um, in, uh, in documents on, on my touch, for example, can I like, upload it using a USB stick? So if I like connect a USB stick and have a file on there, I think I should be able to upload it to one to one drive, right? Yeah, you'll probably want to copy it onto your touch first and then upload it. You, you wouldn't do it directly from the USB drive. I would strongly encourage copy it to your touch itself and then upload. There's a limitation on Android at times for sending or uploading directly from. You need to copy that over first and then it will show up on your PC or show up on your iPhone or show up anywhere. Anything that has access, you can certainly sync it across. So yes, you can totally take a file from a thumb drive that you might have and fire it up into OneDrive or any cloud storage platform. And uh, the feedback bit is um, uh, some customers, they may subscribe to the Q&A newsletter. However, I did not see the uh, email regarding the webinar of this week. So that would have been a problem. I have to look on the website. Uh, I don't know why. I, I know it was sent out, uh, but we'll have to see where it was sent to. So I'm not sure. Um, we do have a lot of people here, though, so some people saw it, that's for certain, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why you might not have, buddy. Maybe check your, uh, check your spam folder and, and see what's going on, because I know it was sent, but we'll, we'll look into why, maybe why you didn't get it this week. Yeah, I checked my spam, I checked my other inbox, I checked my other inbox. Dude, I think the mail fairy just intercepted somehow uh, intercepted it or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly have a look at that, Oscar. Thanks very much, Oscar. All right. Thanks, Oscar. Let's do it, Andrew. Okay. So the draw. Rise it up. Mm, okay. Let's have a look. Uh, is the winner here? Is yes, the winner the here? The winner is, is here. here. There's All always right. a winner here. Okay. So the winner of an hour free training is drum roll. We need a drum roll. Forgot about the drum roll. Do, well, last time you tried it, your computer went <laughs> insane and it started repeating uh, parts of the yeah. webinar. Correct. I don't trust your drum roll. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with one. Okay, so the winner is Tommy, and the surname, you'll have to apologize if I've got this oh, wrong. Oh, yes. I love when Andrew You, gets you love this name. part. I do. <laughs> Tommy Roche. Roche. I'm going for Roche. R-O-E-C-S-H. Yeah, R-O-E-S-C-H. Roche. Tommy Roche. So, Tommy so Roche, I know you're here. If you want to raise your hand, if you'd like to speak to us. Uh, and if not, that means. is totally okay if you don't uh i will be sending you an email with the email that you used to register for the webinar so i will be in touch with you to talk about what training you would like tommy um you can certainly look for an email from me so i will i will be i will be in touch here's tommy give you, oh did you, i didn't i didn't see the hang up yeah. awesome hi tommy hello how's it going hello. good How's life? What's happening? Congratulations on your, what, what, uh, what products do you use? Um, so I'm a blind and low vision teacher and orientation mobility instructor. So awesome. I'm hoping to get my second, well, soon to be third grader, a brown note touch. Okay. Plus, and I want to be able to teach him. So I need to know how to do it so I can teach him. Okay. Awesome. So what I'll do, I'm going to, I'm going to float you a note. Where, where are you located? Cincinnati or Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay, cool. So I'm going to copy you on a note with a product specialist and we're going to set up, we, you know, whatever it is, we will, we'll, we'll, we'll work. We'll make it happen. Whether we wait for your student, whether you want to have a unit in your hands, whatever you want, it's totally your call. We'll just, we'll make it work. Okay. That'd be great. Awesome. Did I, did I pronounce your surname right, Tommy? That's, you are about as close as you can get. It's Resh, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, <laughs> It's very hard. This is my favorite part of the program is yeah. Andrew saying everyone's name. 
he is <laughs> it really gives him uh it's, it throws curveballs at him i think <laughs> i'm just gonna start signing up as random people and just so we can see if he can pronounce the names and i'll just have no vowels in them it'll be like my like uh, my father's from bosnia so i have lots of family members with very few vowels in any of their names <laughs> We should get Andrew to say them all. But congratulations. Thanks for being here, Tommy. Thank you. Congratulations, Tommy. Awesome. All right. If there is another question or two, we can we can take them. Um, otherwise, friends, we will be back next Thursday with another episode of Humanware Live. Uh, we will have some sort of drawing. What it may be, I don't know. Um, I think there is a raised hand. We'll take, we'll take one more, Andrew, if you want to float to it. Uh, so look. If there is one, I think one more came up. Uh, yeah, Oscar again. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, you are re-raising your hand. Hi. Uh, hi, Oscar. Hi. Uh, can I ask something regarding the, the, the brown touch and the key soft for a second? Sure. Um, um, is, the, is, the case, is the update to key soft is it out yet? It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it, it, is, it is coming. Yeah, so you updated it through uh, key update, right? Yep. Yeah, you'll be notified. You're gonna get a notification that pops up. If you say no or you don't have don't feel like updating at that moment, you will go through key updater. And when you launch key updater, you will be able to install the update. Oh, I mean, this is what I wanted to know. Thanks a bunch, Oscar. All right, everybody. We are gonna run. I am gonna find some lunch. Andrew's gonna find some dinner and we are very glad you were all able to join us. Please remember if you have suggestions, humanware live at humanware.com. Please send your suggestions there, humanware live at humanware.com. I, you know, we, it really helps come up with topics. I think next week we may be looking at um, possibly some braille display pieces of the puzzle. So maybe some JAWS working with the braille display and maybe we're, I need to figure out some other things, but we'll, we might go down that road. And that, again, those come from humanware live. So today with OneDrive, that was directly from Human We're Live and others. So please feel free to send them along and we will put them in our hat and we'll pull them out and we will try to cover those topics. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, everybody.